In his book, The Class of Civilization, Huntington defines civilization as a group of people who share the same culture and religion in which the sense of identity is more important than um, geography. People with the same ethnicity and common ground on thoughts are more likely to cluster in these uh, civilizations. Countries, regions, towns, and villages can all be considered um, civilization, not just sovereign um, nations. The foundation of the Western civilization was rooted through Christianity and the Protestant Reformation, which endorsed the ideology of deism and enlightenment thinking. Those valued the characteristics of civil rights and democracy. Such sense of individualism also led to the disapproval of communism and totalitarianism. However, the contemporary Western civilization shares the same similarity in ideologies, even though the religious illusions were the main influences for these characteristics. The Western civilization was emphasized through the division of the Iron Curtain and the emerge of the Cold War, which created a network of alliance that might have defined the Western civilization of the modern day, including intergovernmental organization NATO, the European Union, and the former British colonized countries such as the United States, Canada, and Australia. Values of Western culture traditionally derived from political thought, argument favoring free thought, had an emphasis on human rights, equality, and democracy, Judaism and Christianity, and anti-communist and totalitarianism. Britain has been a member of the European Union since 1973, but a series of crises have shaken British confidence in the EU. The European Central Bank's handling of the recession caused unemployment in Greece and Spain. The Syrian refugee crisis tested Europe's open border policies. These conflicts pushed a referendum to be held in order to decide whether the UK should leave or remain in the European Union. Leave won by 51.9% to 48.1%. The referendum turnout was 71.8%, with more than 30 million people voting. For the UK to leave the EU, it had to invoke Article 50 of the Lisbon Treaty, which gives the two sides two years to agree the terms of the split. Theresa May led this process. Margaret Thatcher famously gave a speech in Bruges, which, in, in which she railed, railed throughout, we have not successfully rolled back the frontiers of the state in Britain, only to see them reimposed at a European level. Although the UK was one of the original 12 countries to sign the Maastricht Treaty in 1992, which established the EU, it retained control over its borders in its own countries. Since the economic meltdown of 2008 and the financial catastrophe in Greece, some Brits have become more skeptical about the benefits of remaining in the EU, especially as the British economy has remained relatively strong. Catalonia was an independent region of the Iberian Peninsula, modern-day Spain, and Portugal, with its own language, laws, and customs. The economic crisis in Spain has only served to magnify calls for Catalan independence, as wealthy Barcelona region is seen as propping up the poorest region of Spain. It is one of the wealthiest regions of Spain. It accounts for 19% of Spain's GDP, equal with the Madrid re region. Madrid, however, has a higher per capita GDP, as do Basque County and Navarre regions. Secession would therefore cost Spain almost 20% of its economic output and trigger a, a row about how Catalonia would return 52.5 billion euros of debt it owes to the country's central administration. The tension in relation between North Korea and the United States dated back to the Korean War due to the division and belligerence between the United States and South Korea against Russia and North Korea. The conflict between these nations were only intensified over time due to the emerging threats posed by North Korea regarding its usage of nuclear powers. Even though the first North Korean nuclear test dated more recent in 2006, Countries' knowledge and engagement in this military-industrial complex were initiated since 1956, when Russia aided North Korea in the commencement of its own nuclear program. 
In all attempts to restrain North Korean continuation in its testing of nuclear weapons, including the Non-Proliferation Nuclear Treaty and the Six-Party Talk, the country's hostility in developing the program remained the same. The period of Obama's presidency was the major acceleration of the weaponry game in North Korea, as the frequency of nuclear testing uh, increased tremendously since 2006. By the presidency of Trump, the relation between these countries become more hostile due to the intense involvement of provocative dialogues, which further diminish the possibility of negotiation between these countries, as indicated by Kim Jong-un in Pyongyang. I read that as keeping the door open for negotiations if the United States rolls back its more hostile posturing and rhetoric. With all the research, we began to question what Western civilization will hold in the future. The first question is how will the Western influence on the world evolve in the future and how will the war affect their stance in the world? Is there a weakness that the West has that will in turn be responsible for their de demise? And what will define power in the upcoming centuries and how will Western resources play into it?